Back in the day, administrative assistants used to help their leaders prioritize their emails by reviewing their inbox and manually moving these emails into high normal and low priority folders. Well, let's fast forward to the modern day. Microsoft 365 Copilot in Outlook now can help you do that. Now, don't worry, administrative assistants, you will not be replaced, but you will save a lot of time and be able to work on more value added work. Let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I currently have my inbox sorted by priority. So I can review my emails based on high, normal, and low priority. Let's talk about where this feature is available. You have to have a Microsoft 365 Copilot paid license. It is available in New Outlook, Outlook for the Web, and Classic. Now, I did notice some differences between how um, the prioritized emails are displayed on the screen, and I'll show you that in a little, a little bit later. Let's get some feature functionality clarity, what it is and what it is not. First off, it is not like the focused in other. Notice that when I'm in the focus inbox that I see high priority. If you click on other, you will only see low priority emails. So just keep that in mind that, you know, we have to train our emails from what appears in focus and other. This was no different when it comes to with high priority emails as well. Let me change my view back to what we normally usually do, which is date view. So a couple of things is I want you to be aware of that prioritized email is different when emails are marked as important. See the important icon there. It is different. Think about important emails is when the sender has marked it important. Well, it may be important to them, but it's not important to you and your to-do list. So keep that in mind that many of your um, emails that is marked important may not be classified as high priority because Microsoft Copilot looks at people, looks at if it's a project or um, the content that is in the body of the email. It doesn't matter if your name appears in the to do or CC line. Now, and I'm not sure how it will behave if it's in the BCC line, but notice here I have that high priority icon next to an email. A couple more things that you should know is that Copilot will not evaluate messages that is marked as low importance by the sender or out of office emails that you receive and meeting um, invites or declines or proposed new the times that will not show up or be classified as low, medium, or high. Um, mail um, you send to yourself. Now, I'm a little bit on the fence about this one because there are times where I will send myself um, a message and based on the content in the body of the email might be something important that I would like for it to go ahead and classify. So I'm going to give Microsoft that feedback and hope they reconsider that one. But mail with very little contents may not get classified, non-deliverable receipt, quarantine messages or crypt messages are not evaluated in this prioritized process. It is also important to know that if you have any rules created and having emails to automatically to be moved to the folder, they will not be evaluated and be marked as high um, or low priority. Keep in mind, this is called prioritize my inbox. So if it's automatically being moved, it's not being reviewed. 
If this video is adding value to your workday, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Also, visit my website and contact me if you're interested in New Outlook training. Again, New Outlook is way different than what it was before, and I can help you jumpstart your day with email management. Now, let's get back to this video. Before I show you how to enable prioritize emails, let's look at um, the components of it. So notice that I see my up arrow saying that it's high priority. It will give you a summary, one or two sentence summary of what this email is about. So this is not actually what you see in the first sentence um, in your email body. So keep that in mind. That's something different that you may have to get used to seeing. So if I open up this email, notice here, I get an additional two to three sentence summary of what this email is about. Note this arrow. Now, if I click on this arrow, that I'm going to get the full summary by Copilot that, again, that comes with the paid um, Microsoft 365 Copilot license. So you still get that detail summary. The other thing that I want to point out is if you want to customize your priorities that you can do this and this will launch and go to the settings and I'll show you that um, in a little bit. You also can get there from the co-palette from the ribbon and choose prioritize. Again, that's going to open up the setting. Let's go ahead and close out this email because I want to show you how to navigate to Copilot settings. Click on view, view settings, Copilot, and prioritize. So to make sure that this um, is enabled, just go ahead and click Let's co let Copilot prioritize my emails and show AI generated summaries in the message list. I like to see what it's there. If you prefer to see what the first two lines in the body of your email, go ahead and deselect this. You can also say apply this to low priority um, emails. I've chosen not to do that. If you come down here under customize, this is where you're going to provide Copilot instructions. Now, Microsoft was very careful um, choosing the word instructions compared to using rules, right? So we know what rules are. Now, I have here, it is from Adele. Originally, when I tried it, I said it's from, and I entered Adele's um, email address. It prefers the name. Make sure it's the same exact name the way it appears in your inbox. So keep that in mind. So if I come in as Teresa B. Cyrus, make sure that's how you enter in the name. Couple things, other ones that I tried any emails from a time period from um, relating to this conference, I entered in a date range, it does not work. So one of the things that you're going to have to remember to do is say any emails um, about Microsoft 365 Master Conference, and you're just going to have to remember to come in here to either enable it and disable it. I did notice that please allow about 15 minutes for any of your instructions to work. And when I deactivated um, a instruction that I had allow up to 24 hours, you can do that with high priority and if you want to start identifying what is low. Now, what I did learn is that you can only have up to 15 instructions between the both of them. So it's not 15 for high and not 15 for low. You have to have a total of 15 instructions. Microsoft has not um, shared if that is going to be increased or not. Here are a few more examples. This is coming right from Microsoft website. Notice that they kind of use, it is about, it is from. And so there was a couple of times that I just, you know, plot in somebody's name um, without 
having a full sentence um, and it didn't work well. So here are some of the examples that Microsoft provided. Now, um, go ahead and put some of your examples um, in the comments below. It is about Project X and press add. That simple. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Sorting and filtering is where the real value is added when using prioritized emails. So you already see that I am enjoying sorting by prioritized emails because here I was away for three weeks taking care of a family member and came back, I was able to review what was marked as high priority. And I was able to focus on this information first, right? And then I went and looked at what was marked as normal because keep in mind, calendar invites are not marked as priority. And so I wanted to review, you know, the content that is listed here and low priority as well. Now, one of the things that I would suggest is what is marked like um, low priority is separate than what is in others. So here's an opportunity to start training some of these items to be moved to other. So for an example, I would take this one and move it right to the other tab. And so it is not even considered as a low priority. So that's one. You can also filter and let's go back to the standard date. This is what we are used to. We can also filter on high priority. So this is only high priority um, emails. Notice this is sorted by date. Here comes the value. If I want to sort this based on from, because we want to know high priority items based on our clients and people. See the value in that already, right? You can also do it based on categories. I know a lot of folks are, you know, like to um, organize their content based on category. So I have jumped over to classic outlook classic and notice up here at the top that i can click on prioritize emails and you see it looks very similar to new outlook and we've already covered all those details so no worries there what is different is the filtering notice i don't have um, the ability to sort by high priority, high priority by copilot is it is being filtered. And I can say, you know, based on from categories or whatever that secondary sort that you would like to see. Notice everything that we talked about, the same impact for focus and other applies here as well. Okay, y'all. So what do you think? I've always said Copilot is your personal assistant. It just helped me prioritize my emails. Again, I was away for several weeks taking care of family member and been able to look at what's important to me right now based on high priority it really helped me. Now, go work your magic.